what is up YouTube up oh, I'm here a pistol slayer with another video and today I'm playing some clash of clans see and you might be wondering hey where, where's your webcam well as you know the past few videos haven't really turned out very well for unknown reasons anyways so I decided to see if this would change it and it would be any better. And today, this is my cat playing with COC, playing with cock, whatever. Um, however you pronounce COC. And you know, join this clan. Uh, it's me and my friends right now running it. So that's pretty lit. And today, I think I'll be showing you redoing how to attack with air. And so I'm going to hit you up with a battle. And so first you want to find, so right now I'm trying to trophy push and get Dark Elixir. And this base has 1.7 thousand Dark Elixir and 30 trophies. Even if I won't be able to three star this base, that's still a good um, base to attack. And the next thing you want to do is look at the air sweepers. That one's going that way. That one's going that way. So, based on the town hall position, I think I'll be attacking from this side right here. And balloons, you kind of want to spread out, but you want to keep them in the same general area. So, by using a two-finger sweep, I'll teach you what that is later. Um, rotating the balloons around and making sure to optimize your uh, placement for your balloons is quite necessary and poisoning the skeletons i would normally have a freeze but since of the skeletons it worked out pretty well and so now just waiting a little bit for your minions i've taken them off most of this side so i'll come in here scattering the minions or kind of around here with the hero there and i think i'll do the queen down there just because of the enemy queen and it was really fortunate that we got the town hall out with this attack but you don't really need to worry about those, the air defenses, the wizard towers, as long as you have your rages and your heals used correctly. And, um, just, I don't worry about those. It's mainly the air sweepers, because that's what can really tear you apart. Queens, sure, uh, you can worry about those, like, in a few battles. I will show you kind of what using that is, like, um, based on the building aspect right now these and using your heal spell when it will optimize placement back here when we get in town hall uh um so i waited till some of those were in the air and then i used it because then it optimized the placement and king goes down archer queen's gonna die so i'm just gonna end battle there and look we got 20 trophies and Decent amount of dark elixir. So it wasn't the best attack, but using it and using it efficiently would allow us to get a two star and twenty trophies. And in this one, so again, nothing would I want two thousand dark elixir though, but no nothing else. Only forty eight thousand gold in elixir. And here it's a little better with twenty eight trophies. That's a level 12 clan, and so typically they have stuff in their clan castle. Now, I'm just gonna pass on this because of it's Town Hall 11 and all the okay stuff. So now, this one's not bad. This one is a level 4, level 15 Archer Queen. I don't have my hero, hero but there is no use. I mean, it looks tempting, but typically you don't want to hit up those bases. Now, this one. Sure, it's only 21 trophies. Um, but with the air sweepers going there, there's nothing from the top. And so that allows me to double finger swipe up there. So using two fingers back and forth. And then look at this. So raging right here where they all are. Not worrying about those ones for a rage because they're not going to get too far. But then look at like the balloons there using a heal spell and then a rage to get them in and past the town hall 
using a poison there. Oh, and I had one more rage with Kuku using that rage just so I can wipe out these center ish buildings. Then having them go down, rotate to that side of the base. And then here, minions up here. The minions are mainly for getting extra percentage so you don't lose. And then sometimes the three star. Using that there. And as you can see, I'm gaining percentage, knocking out buildings where they're kind of not there. Where like the defenses won't hit. Saving those off for these spots. resources and sadly uh, we won't get any dark electricity but if we had our heroes it would have been a lot different I should have waited for them but we will have one star and that will get us at least five six trophies plus a lot of elixir and gold and you don't need massive amounts of trophies in each battle to be very successful you can just Use the amounts that I have here. Just gonna get a few more percentage. This is just like builder base. The more percentage you get, the more trophies, except in builder base, more trophies, or sorry, more percentage, the higher likelihood of you winning. Just gonna end the battle there. We got a lot of elixir and seven trophies. Not bad. We are first, I'm first in my clan right now. It's me and a few friends. And some people. Forgot to train the troops here really quick. But so this. Well, I'm gonna explain some strategy here. So using these here, this allows to push any that might come for possibly that air defense and that air defense. And that this one kind of covers this part of the base. Then if this one here, that's mainly town hall defensive. And these, um, these air bombs here. Those are a balloon user person, whatever, worse enemy. Because they can destroy a lot of balloons if you had a lot right next to each other, like these two right here. How they're kind of right near each other. Uh, so like if they both trigger right around this bomb. Um, that if they get like to that wall, it's kind of like the center point, it will kill them. And... Just one thing really quick, you want to keep your skeleton chops to air, because typically, most land troops, there's a few exceptions with golem and giant and ice golem and whatever, but those aren't that useful, but typically, you want those in air because people using balloons, that will increase your chance of getting the skeletons to kill your balloons. There's almost nothing more frustrating than having skeletons there and you don't have the poison. And that was a lot of gems right there, but you should be able to be fine. I'll probably do one more battle. And this one, wizard towers, they can be a big nuisance if you don't get to them fast enough. That's why I have more rage than heals because I only need one heal to be successful. And this is looking, you know, so there's Dark Elixir here, which I kind of badly need, not badly, but I want. And then the Dark Elixir right there and there. So, once again, this one I'm going to do a separate hand pushes just to get them on separate sides. See, look, and we're getting some of that right there. So, using that down and Rage here on separate sides, freezes are kind of used for air sweepers. But I find poison. And look, those one, those balloons, there's not very many there. There's majority here. And we're going to raise them right over here. And watch this. Boom. That poison. Multi-value poison right there will take out all that nice junk. We get out the expo, which is what we needed. But there's still one left. But we can still get there. We need to do some nice easy then. Using their abilities just so it speeds up the process for you guys. Typically, that's not how you want to do it. You want to save the abilities until you're fighting. Um, I suppose not walking on to anything important right now, which is kind of useful. And 
the minions, as the expo is locked onto my king, which has high health, the minions will be trying to chip away at the town hall. Honestly, I should have started from the bottom, but my... I don't know, want for Dark Elixir kind of prevented that. Getting out the expo, and if the queen will rotate nice, which she didn't, I would have been able to get the town hall down. Sticking for the one star. Don't want my queen to die. Completely. 1,000 Dark Elixir. Seven trophies. I mean, it was a good attack. All I need right now is um, Dark Elixir and, well, for my walls. But what I really need now is Dark Elixir for the rest of my troops. For four more troops and my hero levels. So, that's what I need now. And I'll hit you up with one more attack. I did. I did. I one more. Um. Yeah. And so, hopefully I don't have to spend too many gems. Actually, I'll just wait a little bit and just entertain you with one quick commentary. Just while I'm waiting about the builder base. Just one quick battle from here. This is actually really, well, besides that, the fact that they have a roaster and a giant cannon, uh, with the crushers here, because I can take them out with bombers, but right now, I will not be using that. I will use bombers here. Ooh, actually, no, I'm going to go normal barbarians, using these to kind of strike there, and then once those are gone, that one there, there's no traps up there. Now I know, so I can kind of not spam them in there, but at the same time, Spam them in there. And we just a few around here. And with the builder dude over there. Giant bomb destroys. The ooh, giant cannon is kind of I find him a little too beefy. Just being able to destroy that really fast. But then again, so the builder base is mainly about getting percentage in order to win. Sure, you want to get the town hall, but percentage is what really matters, because if you both have 50%, but you have 65 and the other has 63, you win. So just getting the percentage down, and as you're doing that, like you saw, I was so close to getting the town hall, it's just he had giant cannon and stuff. See, I won because of percentage there, because I dropped extra barbarians. That probably would have Almost got me the town hall, but dropped him around the builder hall so I could get more. And now, hopefully, 12 19 gems for that. That's kind of expensive. Last battle. This time, I'll just be showing overall like how to deal with the queen. So, the queen for me is basically don't worry about the queen. Because, uh, well, don't worry about the queen until you get most of the base down. Because then, uh, the queen, the balloons would just go for the queen. Not automatically, but. And so this is a nice base right here. Oh, first I thought the queen was really close. But anyway, that allows me to come from this side with a double finger pull from here, rotating around. You kind of want to engulf them because then you can place that right on the wizard tower and it gets all those buildings and will raise them as they're going. Now with the heel put a spell ready as they go into the center. This is unfortunate. They have an electro dragon. So I'm going to poison. Okay, I'm going to lose this one. The, the electro dragon electro dragon is going to destroy all of my troops there. Just annihilate them. There's going to be nothing I can do. I'm thinking I'm going to Drop my queen here with some minions. Spark her ability just for the um, kind of not effect, but for the um, hope, uh, possibility of me saving my queen. Ooh, okay. So my queen is being saved right now. Not for much longer. The Alexa Dragon is going to. The, the queen saved me doing that. And I think with that, I will be getting a star. 
50%. Oh, actually, my king's being big dumb. Oh, yeah, I will because of the minion there. Thank you, minion. <sighs> I hate how the heroes are so dumb. Uh, see, this battle would have gone a lot better for the clan castle. I was not paying attention for that. But, so, all in all, just summing up what we've kind of learned today is in this educational uh, Clash of Clans commentary about air attacks. This is my first part in the educational series. Make sure to watch for the air sweepers, the level of the clan, and just making sure you use your spells right and you getting the most value. Like, if I drop a rage spell here, it's going to go all the way out to, like, these three buildings, but then it's only going to stop, like, there. But if I place it here or something, it will still go out to here, getting my balloons raged as also as they get raged into the center of the base. And if you guys want me to do any other topics, not just educational clash of clans commentary, but if you want me to do anything else, just make sure to tell me down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit, click that notification bell so you can know when my next video is up. And I'll be giving the next three subscribers a shout out as I subscribe to them. And the next fifty and the uh, first fifty subscribers, I will give a shout out to in my videos. Just make sure to go down and say I subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Sorry about my past episodes. Hopefully this will turn out better. And.